Uh, let's check in on our buddy, Matt Walsh. Desperate for takes over there. It's really tough. There's not a lot of room for uh, these guys on the right because everybody's staking out the same territory. Um, Matt Walsh is going to prove to you that there is no systemic racism in this country. And he's going to use, like, he's going to use facts. So just everybody put your feelings on check for a moment. And let's listen to this bastion of logic, Matt Walsh. What is the system? You know, what are you talking about? You say the system uh, oppresses. What system? What system are you referring to specifically? Whatever system there is in this country, you as a member of the federal government and you as a member of the Democrat Party and you as a leader of the progressive movement are not only a part of that system, but you are one of the people controlling it. And yet you are oppressed by the system, even as you control the system. It's uh, again, it's a, well, a, a remarkable right claim, right, remarkable right there. Let me just stop you right there. The idea that you are, uh, I, I think we would all say we're all part of the system, but that doesn't mean you're controlling it. The, 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 almost the, the, <laughs> the point of it being a, a system is that there is no one who has a specific, no individual who has control over it. It's absurd. It's systemic. Continue. It's stupidity. Ilhan Omar, her story, her life is proof in itself that America is not systemically racist. Same for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, same for Barack Obama. And yet these are the people, the people who, the people who disprove systemic racism just by their story, by their existence, are the same ones who are the loudest ones claiming that systemic racism exists. And, and, and I know that, you know, I, I get it. So Any time, and I'm sure that what I'm saying right now, this is going to be one of those things that Media Matters polls and they, they put it on Twitter. Daily Wire host claims systemic racism doesn't exist because Ilhan Omar was elected. Yeah, you know what? That is sort of what I claim. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's pretty good evidence. Yeah. Wow. I mean, at least he's not shying away from what he's actually saying, right? Mask right. off time for this guy. Well, he's just accepting the, I mean, frankly, it's a widespread premise that representation in certain power structures, it means equality, yeah. broadly speaking. Yeah, because everything got completely better for black people in America when Obama was elected president. They definitely didn't need to start a movement called Black Lives Matter during that time. I, I also wonder, like, you know, at what point did he think, if it's the case that Ilhan Omar's election or Barack Obama's election or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's election disproved the idea of systemic racism, like, what does he make of the Black elected officials in the wake of the Civil War? Is that when systemic racism ended in the late 1800s? Even though we had government sponsored redlining up until into the 50s, even though we had such disenfranchisement of black people's right to vote that we had to pass another law in the 60s. I mean, if the argument is that that Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, her election or Barack Obama's election proves there's no systemic racism, what does he say about the Congress people who were elected to, to Congress in the late 1800s? Oh, I'm sure he would like to locate it as far back in history as possible. Like, I would be curious as to, like, if that's, the, if that's the measure, if a couple of people can get elected to Congress, there's no systemic racism. There's no, um, in, the, in the corporate halls of power or, like, there's no systemic racism despite the fact that we just see by coincidence Black unemployment goes up when other people's goes down during this. That the rate of black COVID infections, the rate of Latino COVID infections, the rate of 
low income COVID infections higher than everyone else outside of those cohorts is just a co- total coincidence. Or it's their fault. Or it's their fault. I, if you pushed them on this, I think they would say it's a culture problem. I think that would ultimately be where they'd have to retreat to. Yeah. That's where, that's where uh, Charles Murray goes. To. Yeah, because if systemic racism isn't real, then you can explain the disparities using race science or uh, the cultural version of race science favored by Charles Murray and others. And it's also cultural as to why they get uh, arrested more for, let's say, marijuana, despite the fact that all the social science says, data says, they don't, black people don't use marijuana any more or less than white people. Or their rate of incarceration, simply a function of culture. I mean, this is what they're left with. But why even like have to you like the fact that they that Barack Obama could get elected shows like Barack Obama by anybody's estimation. I would even imagine Matt Walsh would would agree with this. It's one of the most gifted politicians. Put aside ideology, put aside um, policy, whatnot. One of the gi- most gifted politicians we've had in decades. Ilho on Omar's story is one of the most compelling stories that we've had of an elected politician. He probably wouldn't agree that AOC is one of the most intelligent, charismatic politicians we've had in generations too. But I mean, she's in her twenties when she gets elected. You take the average white politician and put their charisma again like the average white politician without any charisma without much intelligence and, the, and their ability to get elected versus those sort of stellar politicians like literally almost once in a generation politicians um, it's absurd. It really is absurd. But I mean, this is this is what he's got. It's a logic. It's the project they have. They have to naturalize these things. Mm-hmm. Barack yep. Obama got elected. There can't be systemic racism. Like there has been a um, a total denial of the ability of black people to pass on generational wealth. You're going to tell me that there's misogyny when, you know, how many queens England has had? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> right now, they have a queen. Yeah. I mean, speaking as someone who went to a fancy college, um, most of the uh, people from a poor background or a minority background that you meet there are like the smartest person you've ever met. And... Uh, the white people tend to tend to vary in quality. Well, I mean, look at Matt Walsh. 